Hey everybody, welcome to the Murder Reviews. This is another review in the series of reviews from a eh, friend of the channel. And this is a review on this red dot here. So this is a Matrix red dot. It's a T1-ish, T2-ish red dot. And it's going to be painted here soon. He sent this down to uh, finish out for me to paint. And then he said I could review all the little parts. Uh, I've already reviewed the front grip. So now we're reviewing the optic. And then last we're going to review this uh, rail. But let's talk about it. So, red dots. Everybody likes red dots. Million dollar question though, will this little uh, red dot hold up to the gas blowback? Because I can tell you from experience, having done some testing, this red dot, this nice looking red dot right here from um, Holy Warrior, did not. Um, the moment I pulled the trigger on the gas blowback and started getting that thing clacking away, the dot turned off. So I'm gonna show you guys something here. No BBs. All right. You can see uh, the dot, is it on? I don't know if you can see the dot. Let me get the stock folded so you can see the dot. All right, so you can see the dot. Dot stayed on. That is pretty awesome and a kind of a big deal. So not every red dot for Airsoft. Mag out. Uh, not every Airsoft red dot can hold up to a gas blowback. That's kind of what I wanted to show you and kind of point out. So this matrix uh, red dot will hold up to the recoil of a gas blowback. Or at least a few shots. Um, I clacked away on it before this just to kind of test it, and it did hold. So that is a fantastic um, sign so far, and I'm kind of glad it worked. Now, I don't know how it's gonna hold up over the long run, but I have every suspicion to think it's gonna be just fine. So that, with that being said, probably would work on a 22 or something of that nature, because if it'll hold up to a gas blowback recoil, it should hold up to something small like a 22, maybe even an AR. So I think this red dot might actually be okay for real shooting, not just for airsoft. The dot itself, not terrible. Aluminum housing. Got your windage elevation knobs. I don't know which is which. I'd have to take the things off to tell you. But usually this is going to be uh, elevation. Shit, didn't even fucking tell you. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch. I guess you're going to have to just guess. <laughs> Hopefully the instructions are a little more detailed. That kind of sucks. Usually there's like an R. Yeah, usually there's an R and L and a U and D, like up and down. Uh, neither of those have that. So that, that sucks. So yeah, there's no R, L, or U, D on these. So you kind of have to guess which one is the windage and which one's elevation, but you can adjust them. And it looks like you can use the cap. Yep, you can use the cap to do that. So you flip the cap upside down and you can make your adjustments that way using these little uh, nat nubs. Use these little nubs on the cap. I don't know if you can make those out. So you can use those little nubs on the cap to correspond with those little holes and you can actually make your adjustments that way. That's kind of cool. I actually think that's a neat, neat little design. So you don't need a tool, you can use your cap to make your adjustments. Now if only it told you which one was up and down and which one was left and right. As far as the dot goes, the green is far more intense than the red. Uh, you, so you guys can barely even make out the red. There it goes. Now you can kind of see it and now it's dead, gone. So that's the highest setting for the red. The green on the lowest setting is already more visible. 
that's the highest setting for the green. So the green is way more noticeable. I have a theory for that. I think it's just, I think it's quite simply uh, the battery needs to be switched out. Sometimes these batteries, when they're um, this is what came with the uh, op the optic. Sometimes these batteries just are kind of weak, and for whatever reason, the red dots are the first ones to kind of crap out on you, and it just becomes an issue. So it's a uh, CR1620 lithium battery. It's a three volt. Just small little like watch battery. That's what's in there. And it's just a very simple drop in. Boop, done. And then you do have a small little uh, rubber grommet, a grommet, uh, O ring out there. So it should help kind of keep the moisture out, make this water resistant. I wouldn't say proof, but definitely resistant. Get that on. Uh, provided Allen key comes with it. That's what you're going to use to uh, put it on and off. That's the actual piece right there. And then you have a smaller Allen's right here. I believe this is yeah. This is the key for those. Uh, you can take these off, and then you can actually uh, get risers for these. So this is a riser that should work with this guy here. This theoretically. I believe this optic would work with this airsoft riser if you wanted to. This is one I already have on an optic of mine. Uh, but this is going to be going on that AK, so you're not going to need a riser. But you could get risers for them. Uh, they do exist if you are so inclined. It does come with a bikini cover. These are, ooh, excuse me, these are okay. I don't really care for them. I usually just bend mine. Not really my, my scene. But um, yeah, kind of a cool little optic. It did hold up to the gas gun clacking away, so that was good. Usually, airsoft red dots will turn off. Like I mentioned, this um, this guy here will not hold up to a uh, gas bow back. The moment I started the first the first shot, uh, the battery component, the battery pack like moved and it lost connection. It didn't work. Uh, some of my other stuff has worked probably gas bow backs, but not everything does. And Usually, if it works with a gas bow back, that means it'll work with something like a 22, maybe even an actual AR. Over time, the recoil might destroy it, but for a small period, it'll be okay. As I mentioned, I'll have the link in the description below where he got this from and uh, how much it costs. So if you like the way this looks and you're kind of interested, you guys can go check it out for yourself. I've already got more than a few of these little things, so I'm not going to probably grab one uh, uh, for myself because like, I've already got this one here. And I've got another one. I got, I got a couple T2s, T1s already. I'm kind of already set up for those. But if I was going to grab another one just to grab to throw on a, on an AEG or a gas wheel back just to have, I would probably consider this guy because it's not too terrible. These are a little big and a little high for a real one uh, to be a, to quote unquote be a replica, but it's still not enough to be a turnoff. And I think it looks just fine. And I think it looks pretty rad on this AK to be quite honest with you. That's all I got, guys. I hope you got something out of this, and this review may have helped one of you out there looking for a new red dot for your gas pullback of your AEG. As always, guys, get out there, play some airsoft, try out some different stuff. You might be pleasantly surprised. It doesn't always have to be the Gucci's or the Gucci to be useful, and LARP harder, not smarter. Top left-hand corner is going to be the most recent video. Top right-hand corner is going to be a video I think you're going to enjoy. It's pretty in the same vein as this. Uh, bottom right-hand corner is a helmet. That is the subscribe button. Punch that dude in the head if you like this content. And until next time, take care. I'll see you on the field.